Hey, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I crocheted this kind of butterfly lace top here. Um, I originally got the inspiration for it on Pinterest and then I tried to find like a pattern or a tutorial for it but I couldn't find one anywhere so I just decided to wing it and it came out pretty similar so I'm going to show you how I crocheted it. Also before we started I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's subscribing and watching my videos. I think the last time I checked I had like 7,000 subscribers um, which is crazy to me so thank you so much for your support. Um, I will try to be more active. But I've been really busy lately and I'm flying to London in a couple weeks so I will try and make more videos when I'm there but yeah I just want to say thank you and also that I finally got a new camera. I got a new camera for Christmas so hopefully this video turns out way better than my previous videos um, using my dad's old camera so yeah. So for this top I used roughly 100 grams of this cotton yarn by Four Seasons um, it's pretty thin, I'd say it's like a DK weight yarn, and I used a 3.5mm hook. Um, so I've already crocheted one of the cups, so I will show you how to do the second one. Okay, so just some information about this top before we get started. Um, it starts from this little corner here, and it's worked outwards. And as you can see, the bottom of the cup here is completely flat. So we will not be doing any increases on this side of the... Uh, cup. We will only be doing increases on this edge here and along the middle here. So I will go ahead and show you how I made this cup. I will add the measurements for it on the screen right here so you can see whether it's big enough for you. Um, if you need to make it a bit bigger then I will explain how to do that. But this is what um, mine is and I will add the measurements for like my body here so if you are the same size as me then you can just uh, copy what I do, but if you do need to make a bigger size, then you will need to do more chains or more double crochets. So for this one here, I started with five double crochets. If you need to make it bigger, you can uh, make it bigger by adding on two double crochets. So either do seven double crochets or nine double crochets, but just make sure that you have an odd number. Okay, so to start the cup, I'm just going to chain five because I'm going to start with five double crochets. But if you're going to do more double crochets, then um, you'll want to chain the same number of chains that you'll do for double crochets. So if you're planning to do seven double crochets to start, then you'll want to do seven chains. So I'm just going to chain five. Like that, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain here. And this will make a loop. And now once that I've made this loop, I'm going to chain two. And this chain two counts as a double crochet. I like to do a loose chain two instead of a chain three just because I think it leaves like a smaller gap than a chain three. But if you want to do a chain three, that's fine. Um, and so now that I have this chain two here, that counts as a stitch. I'm going to do four more double crochets in this little hole here so that we end up with a total of five stitches. So I've done four double crochets in here, and then I have my starting chain two, so I have a total of five stitches. Now obviously if you're doing more double crochets, just double crochet until you've got that amount, including your chain two. So now I'm just going to make this side, the side that I do my increases here. So I'm going to make that this side here. Um, so I'm going to chain two, which counts as a stitch, and then... I'm going to put a double crochet right into that first stitch here to increase. Just like that. And since the previous row, this row here has five stitches in total, the middle stitch will be the third stitch. So I'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch and then do an increase in that middle stitch. And then I'm going to double crochet until the end. So if you started with uh, seven double crochets, for example, then your middle stitch would be the fourth stitch. Um, and then if you did nine double crochets, then your middle stitch will be the fifth stitch and so on. So you'll just want to do an increase in that middle stitch there. And since this side is the side that's going to be flat, we're not going to do an increase on this side. So I'm just going to chain two. 
and then I'm not going to put a double crochet into that first stitch there. I'm just going to go straight into the second one. Like that. And then I'm going to double crochet until I reach the middle stitch again. So the row before, this previous row here, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches in total. So my middle stitch will be the fourth stitch. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put a increase into this middle stitch here. Just like that, and then I'm going to double crochet until I reach the end. And since this side is the side where I'm doing my increases, I'm going to put two double crochets into the chain two here. Just like that. So each row on this side I have an increase and on this side I don't. Um, if you need to use like a stitch marker or something to just rem remind yourself which side you're increasing, then feel free to do that. Um, and so now we're just going to repeat that same thing. So I'm going to chain two. And then since this is the side with increases, I'm going to put a double crochet right into that first stitch there to make an increase. And now uh, I'm going to double crochet until I reach the middle stitch. So this row now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches in total. So the middle stitch will be the fifth stitch. So I'm going to double crochet until I reach the fifth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm at the fifth stitch. I'm going to put an increase in there. And then I'm just going to double crochet until I reach the end. Okay, so I finished six rows of my cup here, and just to clarify, I've done one increase in the middle stitch of each row, I've done one increase on one side of the cup in each row, and I've done no increases on one side, on the other side of the cup for each row. And this is what you want to repeat until you reach the width that you need. So for me, that was 15 rows. So once I reach 15 rows, I'm going to show you how to do this ribbing here. And if this all sounds really confusing to you, I will do a little written pattern so that hopefully that will help you as well. I have one for each of my patterns, so that will be in the description somewhere. You can find the link um, and hopefully that will help if you are finding this a bit confusing. But in general, it's just no increase on one side, increase in the middle and increase on the other side. And that's it. I'm going to show you how I figured out where to put the increases in each row. So I've done my um, chain two and I'm in the increasing side of my bra cup here. So I'm going to put another double crochet into that first stitch there. And then I'm going to double crochet all along until I reach the increase from the previous row. Okay, so I've reached the increase from the previous row. And so to figure out where to put the increase in this row, I just look at the row before. So I go to this row here, and I can see that the increase in this row was put into the first stitch of the increase here. So for this row, I'm going to put the increase into the first stitch as well. Just like that, and then I'm going to keep double crocheting until the end. Your increase should always go into one of these stitches from the increase in the previous row. So once I reach the end of the row, I'll just turn my work, I'll double crochet until I reach the increase again, and then I'll have a look at the previous row. So this row here, the increase was done into the second stitch of the increase from the previous row. So I'll do the increase in this row in the second stitch here. And I'll just keep repeating that until I reach um, however many rows I need to do. Okay, so I finished doing 15 rows of my cup here. So I've started here, 
I've done 15 rows and just for reference when I put it against my chest it reaches from the middle all the way to the side here so it covers my whole boob so that's what you want to do you want to make sure that you do as many rows as you need to cover your whole boob and then when you're done with that make sure that your row ends on the side with the increases so the bottom here is my flat side with no increases I've ended my row to make sure that I start on the side with the increases so that way we can start the ribbing pattern so I'll show you how to do that now Okay, so I have my cup here. I've just put some green felt in the background to try and make it easier to see, so I hope this is better. Um, but now we're at row 15, so that's this row here. So I'm going to show you how to make that ribbing effect. So to start, I'm going to start as I normally would, so I'm going to chain two. I'm going to chain two, and then since I'm on my increasing side, I'm going to put an increase, the stitch into that very first stitch there. And then I'm going to keep double crocheting and I'm also going to increase in the middle row, middle stitch as well. And using my trick, I can see that this increase in the row before, this increase was put into the first stitch of the increase before. So I'm going to put my increase into the first stitch here. So I reached my increase and I put an increase into the first stitch of the increase in the previous row um, just to match the row before. This will be the middle stitch. And now I'm just going to double crochet until I have eight stitches left at the end here. You can do honestly any number you'd like, um, six, seven, nine. I just did eight because I think this was a good size, but if you want the gaps to be a bit smaller, then you can. Just note that if you do do them a bit smaller, then you'll end up having more rows afterwards here. So if you're bigger busted, unlike me, then it might be a good idea to have um, smaller gaps here, but it's completely up to you. You can do however many you want. So I'm just going to do mine until I have 8 stitches left and then I'll meet back. Okay, so I have 8 stitches left here and now I'm just going to chain 1 and then I'm going to do 8 single crochets. So this will count as 1 single crochet here, so that's 1 and then 2, 7, 8. So I've got 8 single crochets on this bit here and now I'm just going to continue with my pattern. So I have an increase here and I'm going to do another increase just to follow the shape of the cup. So the increase in the previous row was done in the second stitch. So I'm going to do my increase in the second stitch here. So I'm going to chain one just to get the height of a double crochet and then put a double crochet into that first stitch there and then increase in the second stitch here since this is the increase. And then I'm just going to finish my row as normal, putting a double crochet into each of these stitches and then an increase at the end here since this is my increasing side. So I finished this row here and now I'm going to start the next row like normal. So I'm just going to put a double crochet into that very first stitch there to increase. And then I'm going to double crochet down my row until there's eight stitches left. Okay, so I have eight stitches left in this row here. So I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to do eight single crochets. And then I'm going to chain one to get the height of a double crochet and then just finish off this row. So double crochet until the end and put an increase in the last chain two. Okay, so here is my finished cup. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the strap here. So I chained 100 for this strap. So I chained 100 and then I did a single crochet in each chain back down towards the cup here. So I'll chain 100 and then I'll meet back with you. So I've done 100 chains attached to my cup here and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one single crochet in each chain all the way back down. So I like to go through these top two loops here just because I feel like it leaves less gaps in the strap but you can just single crochet however you'd like and then once I get to the cup here I'll show you how to do that ribbing pattern along the side here okay so I've finished single crocheting all the way down my strap and now I'm just gonna slip stitch into the post of this double crochet here 
So now I'm working down this side with my increases. So I'm just going to place slip stitch into that row with the double crochets here. Just like that. And then I'm going to add a single crochet into the same stitch. And now to do the shell border, I'm just going to do four double crochets into the next row here. So this is the next row. Here is the last double crochet or chain two of that row. And I'm just going to put four double crochets in there. Like that. So I have four double crochets into that one um, post there. And then I'm going to do one single crochet into the next row. So this is the first row. This is the second row that I've just done that shell into. And then the third row, I'm going to do a single crochet into there. Like that. And then I'm going to go into the next row and I'm going to do four double crochets into that post. Like that. And then single crochet into the next one. And just repeat this pattern all the way until the end here. Okay, so I finished all of my shells and then I just did one single crochet into that final row there. Um, if you have a different number of rows and you end up having a shell in this row, that's completely fine um, because now we're just going to do five single crochets into this hole here. So if you had a different number um, starting chain, then you just want to chain or single crochet as many chains as you did. So I started with five chains here, so I'm just going to do five single crochets. So I have five single crochets in here, and just to finish off the cup, I'm going to do two single crochets into each of these rows just to make it easier um, for when we come to do the shell or the lace kind of stitching. So one, two, like that, into the posts of the first row, and then I'm just going to do two single crochets in the next one, and just repeat this all the way until the end. So I'm now on the final row here. I'm just going to do two single crochets into that last row and then slip stitch to this double crochet here just to finish everything off. And then I'm going to leave a long tail just to weave in the ends later. Okay, so now it's time to work on this shell lace pattern here. So to start, I'm going to grab my first cup. So here I have my first cup and I'm starting at the hole here, the shell border on the bottom and I'm just going to attach my yarn here so I'm just going to do a slip knot onto my hook and then in this um, loop here that we made I'm going to find the second single crochet that I did in here so there's five in total so this one one two so I'm going to work in the second single crochet there so I'm going to insert my hook and then pull through a loop and then through again to make a single crochet like that and then I'm going to single crochet all the way until the end okay so I'm at my last single crochet here just like that and so I have one single crochet in each stitch here um, so if you had a different number of chains for the starting hole here so say you had seven then you would start in the third single crochet if you had nine, you would start in the fourth and so on. Basically just the bottom stitch. So I finished doing my single crochets along the bottom of my cup here. Um, and I still have my yarn attached here. So in total on this edge, I have 32 single crochets. So from here, I'm just gonna make a chain. Now the chain should be long enough to reach from this part, wrap all the way around, and then attach to this cup here like this. And so since I have 32 single crochets in this cup, I'll have 32 single crochets in this cup, and then my chain in total plus the 32 stitches from each of these cups should add up to a number divisible by 12. So let me do mine and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so this is the first cup I made and I've just made my chain and I've attached it just to the first stitch of this cup here, just so I can show you what it looks like. So if I were to try this on, it would look something like this. So I have my two cups here, like this, and they reach to the middle. And then I have my chain that attaches from this corner here all the way around to the other side, just like that. And so this stitch here, all the way, including the chains, plus this, um, these single crochets here until the end, will count up to 120. 
So obviously that's divisible by 12, 120 divided by 12 is 10. So uh, that's how long I've made mine. So just make sure that your total length, your total number of stitches from this point to this point adds up to a number divisible by 12. So just to show you what that should look like up close, this is where I attached my yarn and I single crocheted and did 32 single crochets in the bottom of my cup here. And then I started my chain. So I chained 56 all the way to this cup and then I attached it here with a single crochet and then I'm just going to single crochet all the way until the end doing a total of 32 single crochets in this cup as well. So in total I have a number of 120 stitches which is divisible by 12. So make sure that yours is divisible by 12 and then we can get started on the first row of the shell pattern. So I'm nearly at the end of um, single crocheting along the bottom of this cup and so I'm just going to do the single crochets until I reach the second single crochet in this um, kind of loop here just to match the first side that I did. So to start this shell pattern I'm going to chain two. This will count as a double crochet so if you'd like to do a chain three also that works as well. So I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to flip over the work and then I'm going to do two more double crochets into that very first stitch there. So I have three stitches in total here. And then I'm going to skip two single crochets, skip two stitches, and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the third stitch. So one, two, I'm going to single crochet into that third one there. And then from there, I'm going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to skip five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five stitches. I'm going to sing single crochet into the sixth one. Just like that. So now I have three double crochets in that first stitch and then I skipped two single crochets and then I single crocheted into the third space then I chained five, skipped five, single crocheted into the sixth space and then I'm going to do five double crochets into the third space from my hook so I've got one, two I'm going to do five double crochets into that third stitch there and this will make a shell so I've done five double crochets into that one stitch, as you can see, and then I'm going to skip the next two single crochets. So one, two, and then I'm going to single crochet into that third stitch here. And then I'm going to chain five again. and skip the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna single crochet into that sixth stitch from my hook, like that. And then I'm going to skip the next two stitches and do five double crochets into that third stitch from where I am now, like that. And then skip the next two stitches and put a single crochet into the third stitch and then just keep repeating that chain five and five double crochets all the way until the very end of um, the other cup. So I've reached the end of my second cup here and you should have three stitches left. So I'm going to do three double crochets into the very last single crochet here. Now to start the next row, I'm just going to chain one and then turn the work over and then put a single crochet into that same stitch to the very first double crochet there like that and then I'm going to chain five and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the third chain in this chain five here so one two three Like that and then chain another five 
and then single crochet into the middle stitch of the shell here. So one, two, three. Like that and then just repeat this all the way down so chain another five and then do a single crochet into the middle of this chain five here so the third stitch So I'm just going to repeat this all the way until I reach the end. Okay, so I finished doing this row here of chain fives. I have one left, um, but I've just been doing a chain five and single crocheting into the middle of the shell or the uh, chain five from the previous row. And to finish the row, I'm just going to chain five and then single crochet into the first double crochet here. just like that, and then I'm going to chain 5 and the chain 2 will count as a double crochet turn my work and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the middle of the first chain 5 here so 1, 2, 3 like that and then I'm going to do a shell in this single crochet here so I'm going to do five double crochets into this one single crochet here like that and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the middle of this chain five here and then I'm going to chain five and then do a single crochet into the next um, into the middle of the next chain five so one two three and then I'm going to do a shell into this single crochet here so five double crochets And just keep repeating that alternating um, chain five and shell stitch. So after this, I'm going to do a single crochet into the middle here. And then do my chain five and then shell and then chain five all the way until the end of the row. So this is what it should look like. You should have a shell on top of a chain five space. So you should never have a shell on top of a shell. Okay, so I've done my last shell in the last single crochet here, and then I'm just going to do one more single crochet into the middle of this chain five. And then I'm going to chain two, and then do a double crochet into this very first stitch here. Like that. And now to start the next row, the next row is just a repeat of the second row here. So it's just going to be chaining five. So I'm going to chain one, turn the work, and then I'm going to put a single crochet into that very same stitch. Like that, and then I'm going to chain five. And then I'm going to do a single crochet into the middle of the shell here. that and then chain another five and then I'm going to do a, another single crochet into the middle of this chain five here and then another chain five and then single crochet into the middle of this shell and just repeat this chain five all the way till the end of the row Okay, so I'm at the end of the row of just the chain fives, and now I'm going to do the last one. So chain another five, 
and then single crochet into the second stitch here, so the top of the double crochet. Just like that. And now we're basically just going to keep repeating this. So to start the next row, we're going to start how we did for the first row. So chain two. And then do two double crochets, two more double crochets into that one stitch. So you have three stitches in total. Like that. And then single crochet into the middle of this shell here, uh, into the middle of this chain five here. And then chain five. And then single crochet into the middle of this chain five. And then five double crochets into this single crochet here. Okay, so you should have something looking like this. Once you reach row four, you're just gonna repeat the whole thing back from row one. So it's kind of like a shell, and then a gap, and then a shell, and then row two is just chain fives, and then gap, shell, gap, and then just chain fives, and just repeats all the way until the end. Um, if you forget, you know, what you need to do, you should always have a shell, and then a gap, and then a shell. You should never have two shells on top of each other. Um, if you want to just go back and rewatch the how to do the first few rows, and obviously you can, I'll put the timestamps. Um, but I'm just going to keep repeating rows 1 to 4 until I reach the length that I'd like. Okay, so I finished crocheting my shell pattern here. I ended up doing 14 rows in total. Um, this is what it looks like. And now the final bit for this top is just to make this chain here to thread through the top here so that we can tie it in the middle. So this part is super easy. I literally just made a chain. I chained 320. And so this wraps all the way around me and makes quite a big bow tie at the front. So just chain however long you need, and then I'm gonna thread it through here. Okay, so just to show you how I thread my chain through the top, just to make it easier, I'm going to insert the yarn into a darning needle. So I'm gonna insert my chain into that first hole there, and then skip the next hole, and then come out through the third one. And then I'm going to skip the next hole and then go into the fifth one. And then skip the next hole, come out through the one after, and just keep repeating this all the way till the end of the cup. Now once I reach the shell lace here, I'm going to put my chain through these gaps here. So I'm going to start by putting my chain through this first chain five. And then I'm going to come out through this chain that we put the five double crochets into. So right now my yarn is threaded through that way. I'm going to come up through this chain like that and then go into this chain five. And then up through the chain with the shell and then out through the chain five. And I'm just going to repeat this all the way to the other cup. Okay, now that I've reached the next cup, I'm just going to go into that last chain 5 under here. And then to match this side, I'm just going to thread my yarn through the second hole here. And then skip the next one and go into the one afterwards. So when it comes to actually tying the top together, I don't just like to do the bow here because otherwise it can kind of open a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to thread the chain from this side in through the neck through the other cup. Like that. And then do the same for the other side. So put the chain from this cup into this cup here. So it creates a bit of like a corset at the front and then you can pull it really tight so it doesn't open. And that's pretty much my top done. So this is what it looks like. Um, I hope yours came out similar. Um, I hope this tutorial was understandable. If you do have any questions, then just comment and I will try to reply to everything. Um, and if you do use this tutorial or like any of my tutorials, please, if you post something, tag me. I'd love to see like what everyone makes. It all looks so good. Um, so yeah, you can find my Instagram and my TikTok in my description. 
Also, I am flying to London within the next week or so, so if you are interested in buying any of my crochet stuff, I will definitely be selling once I'm there, so follow my Instagram and then you can know when I will post on Depop or Vinted because stuff sells out pretty quickly. So if you are interested in buying anything, my Instagram is linked in the description. You can follow me there for updates on when I'm going to post. And as usual, I will be writing a little written pattern for this top and linking it in the description somewhere. So if this video is a bit confusing for you, then you can try and use that to help. Um, and if all else fails, you can try and DM me on Instagram. I might reply there. And if you have any suggestions on what I should crochet next, then do just leave it in the comments. Um, I am kind of running out of ideas, so uh, feel free to leave that below and I will look through everything. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.